Melanie computes the mean, the median, and the modes of the 365 values that are the dates in the months of 2019. Thus, her data consists of 12 ones, 12 twos, 12 28s, 11 29s, 11 30s, and 7 31s. Let D be the median of the modes. Which of the following statements is true? So first, I'm going to look at the medians of the modes versus the median. So D versus M. So since the modes are going to be all of these values, since there are 12 each of those, the median of the modes excludes including those. Therefore, since we're including those in the median, the median value, because we're including these larger numbers, is therefore going to be larger than the median of the modes. And if we, um, yeah, and so that's pretty clear why this is going to be true. M is greater than D. And we'll compute directly what median and the median of the modes are going to be. But for that reasoning, we get that. So now considering um, the median versus the mean. So median versus mean. So let's compute the median directly. So the median, since there are 365 terms, the median is going to be the 183rd term. So I know that since there are 12 of each of the terms, 12 times 15 gives me 180. So the 180th term is 15, but the 181st term is then going to be 16. Therefore, the 183rd term is going to be 16. So the median is equal to 16. The reason why the median is greater than the mean, I'll write that out, is because the mean would be 16 if there were 12 ones, 12 twos, and then 12 thirties and 12 thirty ones. Like that would be a case where the mean is. 16. However, there are less of these bigger numbers in the sequence that we have. Therefore, so in this in this scenario, so 12, what do we have? 12 30s, um, 12 31s. In this scenario, the mean is equal to 16, but in the scenario that we have, the mean has to be less than 16 because the sequence that we have is features smaller numbers than this sequence. So therefore, um, that's true. So you've got that and that. Now we just need to compare the mean versus the median of the modes. So in this case, we're looking at the median of the modes. Um, and so the modes are all of these values. So 12 ones, 12 twos, 12 28s. Um, so it's really just thinking about the sequence 1, 2, all the way to 27, 28. So the median of the modes, since there are 12 of each, the median of the modes is going to be just the smallest number plus the largest number divided by 2. So it'll be 29 over 2, which is 14.5. And the mean of that sequence, so if we're just considering the modes, the mean of the modes is going to be 14.5 as well. Because when each of these terms, if it's a consecutive sequence of numbers, and they all have the same weight, median is going to be the same as the mode. So if they're the same in this case, but the mean that we're considering is on all of these numbers, then I know that the mean that we're considering has to be greater than the mean of just the modes. So by that reasoning, the mean is greater 
than the median of the modes. So if we combine all this, we see m is the biggest, then goes the mean, then the median of the modes. And so that option is choice E.